ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Family, friends, and players gathering at Holy Cross Anglican Church last night as another Bahamian inked his name on a professional baseball contract. James Roll, better known as Big Game James, signing with the Baltimore Orioles, and he will now await his minor league assignment. After five long years of blood, sweat, and tears, working hard and chasing my dream, I achieved my goal of becoming a professional baseball player. I would love to thank God for giving me the courage of waking up every day and working hard towards my accomplishment. Today, we are here to celebrate my success, but it wouldn't be possible at all without a few individuals that played in instrumental roles in my life. So, I would like to say a special thank you to all my coaches to put in all the extra work, doing things like giving me extra work, extra ground balls, hidden giving me baseball gear that I needed, even food, clothes, etc., etc. The list could go on for days. On hand to make sure all the signatures were in the right place was Oriole scout Calvin Maduro. And one thing I like, I signed a lot of guys, but I like this fact right now that look at the support he has signing today. And this is just the beginning of his professional career. So he just started. For us in baseball, this is the easiest part. You know, as an amateur, it might be a hard part, but in, in professional, it's the easiest part. Because right now, everybody who signed professional is the, is the best of that team. Like all these guys that practice, they're the best probably there is in Bahamas. So they're all, they're all gonna sign. So when he gets there, he needs to show that he's best of the best being there. And that's the only way you progress. It's in a way you're competing against the one sitting next to you, but it's a friendly competition because he's pushing you to do your best. The government secondary schools winding down their 2018-2019 calendar. Junior boys baseball on the diamond yesterday. It would be the S and McPherson Sharks picking up a 5-1 win over the C.H. Reeves Raptors. My boys are excited. We've been practicing from January, and today it shows you put in the work, the hard work paid off. I have about four pitches, so that's the first one you see today. Uh, we play AF Ali on Thursday, you will see another picture. You can expect that at the end of the season, if we continue to play like this, we'll be the 2019 champions. While it's baseball for the boys, the girls are playing softball. The C.O. Walker Knights senior girls picking up a strikeout to end their game with the Anatol Rogers Timberwolves. Knights win big, 14-5. to They get together at the beginning of the game. They try to um, get, get the run that they're supposed to get. But we still need work and stuff, so once you work on what we need to work on, then we'll be, we'll be better. Yes, it was a good effort. We knew we could have played better, but... Congrats to CR, they did a really good job and we know for next time what errors we have to fix. Mario Boleg honored over the weekend by the CC Sweden Cobras for the years of service he gave to the school's senior boys basketball program. And even though he's moved on, he still plans to give back in a similar way in his new role as president of the Bahamas Basketball Federation. Community service is just not uh, for now, but for always, because I can always find that the youths of the nations are the future of the nation. And uh, when we find time to spend time and develop our youths, uh, whether it's through any other sport other than basketball, baseball, softball, whatever it may be, or whatever aspect in life you decide to help and develop the youths, that's most important and paramount as for the future of this country. And so anytime that I have an opportunity to work with youths and develop them, uh, mold their character, and make them better citizens of society, I will be there. The Bahamas Law and Tennis Association will host another round of Davis Cup trials this weekend to determine the final two players who will represent the 242 next month in Costa Rica. Brothers Baker and Spencer Newman will join the major boys, PJ and KJ, for round robin action on Saturday and Sunday at the National Tennis Center. The top two finishers will be paired with national champ Dante Ambrister, Nationals runner up Justin Lund, and captain Marvin Roll. Despite finishing on top in Zone 3 in 2018, the Bahamas will still compete in that zone this year because of their ranking in the new Davis Cup format. 
From the collegiate tennis beat, Lauren Dax with an impressive sophomore season for the Missouri Valley Vikings. Lauren played a vital role in the team's 15-0 start, recording eight consecutive wins in singles. At the Heart of America Conference Gala reception, Lauren was named second team all-conference. She also held the Vikings to the conference tournament final, pulling off wins in both singles and doubles against St. Louis College in the quarterfinals and Missouri Baptist in the semifinals. Lauren and the Vikings came up short in the final against William Woods, denying them a spot in the NAI National Tournament. The Vikings ended the season with a record of 20 and 2, the most wins ever for the program. Lauren was 17 and 2 in singles, 10 and 5 in doubles. Elena Mackey serving it up as well, making it all the way to the final at a Level 7 USTA tennis event in Key Biscayne, Florida. During the tournament, Elena played well, winning her first round match over Romina Zamora, 6-1 and 1. She then faced second seeded Lishko and picked up another straight sets win there, 6-2 and 1. That propelled her into the semifinals, where she won a tough three-setter in come from behind fashion, 2-6, 6-4 and 10-7 over fourth seeded Alakon. In the final, Elena faced off with third seed Popovich, where she fought hard but came up just short. The sales may have come down on the 66 National Family Island Regatta, but as Charles Fisher tells us tonight, one youngster left a lasting impression. Just 13 years old, Clay Warren Smith is already making waves in the sport, having sailed for more than five years. Joined the sailing club when I was in grade five, and I started from there. Why do you like sailing so much? Because it's fun to be on the water, so I like being in the water. Why? I just grew up in the water swimming. Swimming? And like swimming, diving, going in the boat, fishing, everything. Sailing on the Lady L in Class E, Smith coasted to a big win in the first cup race, beating out veteran skippers, including Leslie Buzzy Roll. It was amazing. I was like, I was focused. And when I came in second, and I was moving faster than his boat, I was confident I was going to come for us. This is my second time skipping, but I've been racing with them for two years. And Buzzy just happens to be one of those the young skipper looks up to. Dallas, Buzzy Roll, um, Stephen Knowles, all the gate sailors who are always winning competitions. Do they give you any advice or do you ask them for any advice? Uh, Dallas gives me advice. He tell me to try my best. Um, it doesn't matter if I come last or first. They just they tell me to sail my race and they, they let me know all the rules and tell me not to break the laws and stuff like that. Now will we see if challenging the big boys on the bigger boats next year? I don't know, but that is a big slap. His dream is to be a captain on one of the big ocean liners one day. For ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. The National Family Island Regatta was also a big week for boat builder Mark Knowles. He built most of the top finishers in the A, B and C classes. New legend, running tight, lonesome dove, new chase, courageous, Cena, BDK, uh, being illegal, ball rally, all those. So we got to give thumbs up to Mark Knowles. He's a good man. Because you know, with, with these boats, there's no, no income in these boats. There's a lot of outgoes. It's all, we only do this for the love of the sport. That will do it for sports. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.